Hi, it is Ayit Gum time again, and uh, let's continue on the uh, OS9. Now, uh, let's get to the uh, fourth floor, okay? Since the six core elements have the physical, mind, breathing, and then uh, chi flow and fourth flow, and we have talked about the, uh, the, the first four, okay? The, the body, the physical, the mind, the breathing, the chi flow. Now, let's go to the fourth floor. Okay, now in order to talk about force flow, so that uh, we know what it is, at it is not my invention. Let's get the uh, the ancient writing, and then we use the Ayikam disc to show you how it is based on uh, law of physics and uh, the nature of human body. Okay, so you'll be able to see what it is. Okay, as uh, what the ancient uh, talk about. Okay, so first the writing. Number one here in Cantonese is saying Ji Mu Yu Zhong. Okay, this means the center axis has to be balanced in today's language. Okay, uh, so this is what the first one. The second is say Kam Yong Lok Keng. Meaning that clamping the yang, descending or sinking the jing, downward. Okay? The third one, meaning leg chong tai hei, meaning the, uh, the force or force flow is rise from ground. Okay? So this tree, this tree quick actually tell you how this uh, uh, Wing Chun or in Siu Tao one develop the the force flow and how this is going to use in the chi sao and in the uh, wooden dummy. Okay, now before if uh, we explain that, then it will be a lot of words and people will say, Oh, this is your opinion, your lineage, whole bunch of stuff, or your interpretations and, and getting to debate and argue. Today, we want to use the Ayikam disc to examine what it is, okay? So it's not that I can do it, you can do it, and you know exactly what it is, okay? Let's go. So here is our, uh, the Ayikam disc again, our tools to show us uh, what it is based on physical, uh, uh, physics, law of physics, and the uh, human body nature. Let's step on that. So, the first quid is said has to be ji mu yu zhong, meaning that the center axis has to be center. What does that mean? It simply means this. So I don't have to climb anything, I don't have to do anything, but my center, center axis is all in a balanced state. Dynamic, okay. It is not holding there, holding the axis. The axis is can be moving, okay. But it is center, balance, okay. That's what I mean. The second thing is say that kam yang okay, clamping yang, sinking the jin, or uh, descending the jin downward. Well, so what is clamping yang? If you want to understand what is clamping yang, you need to understand one thing. The ancient Chinese talk about the qi flow, the mer uh, meridian flow. Okay, the meridian flow, like in the acupuncture, the twelve proper mer meridian flow. The yang meridian is flowing downward. The yin is flowing upward. So kam yang. Okay, kam yang, meaning, or the clamping yang, actually meaning riding, riding this, the same direction path of the flow of the chi, or, or riding the, 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 the flow of the yang meridian downward. It is not about clamping anything, it's meaning riding the yang meridians going downward, locking, sinking the chi, meaning that one, right the meridians, the young meridians, 
uh, sinking the gene downward. Okay? That's what it is. Now, so how is that done? Say for example, if I turn this way, if somebody uh, apply a force to this hand, okay, this hand, watch out my leg, say I'm using this leg as my uh, sinking, okay, it's going this way, you see that? While my center axis is in the balance state, it goes this way, meaning the force flow is spiraled downward. It spiral down. Okay? Using the young Mandarian path or the young uh, the, 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 the young direction path. That is what it is. It is not as what we usually thinking about. Climbing the young. If you do that, the force coming in, oh my god, all this stuck. It's not gonna going down. Okay? So climbing the yang, sinking the jing, okay, is actually this thing, this plate. Take it, spiral downward. Okay, see that? Accelerate the radiate. Okay, it's spinning down. Okay. So that's what it is. So it's not this. It cannot be done because physically if you do that, you can get two of this disc. Okay, it's only about less than ten dollars each disc. Try at home and see where or your school. See if you do that when people push you, will it going down? Okay? It will not. Because it's stuck here, your ball lock. However, you can do it sideways. If you push this way, that is how it going down. Provided your body is open up. If your body is locked, then you're probably going to use your shoulder, your hip, a whole bunch of different places. Instead of the body don't have to take the force. Spiral down. And you notice, when I do this, I'm talking with you. I don't have an uh, issue in breathing. But if you want to use force, then you, your breathing is stuck. Okay? So that is Kang Yang Lok Geng. Okay? Now it said Lek Chong Dei Hei or Geng Chong Dei Hei, meaning the Jing rise from the uh, ground. What is that? Simple. It is just about the reaction force. See, if, some, if I take the force in and rotate, spiral it down, that is the action force. It's going to have a reaction force going backward because Newton's law said that there's an action force, there will have to be a reaction force. Okay? So if I take this action force down, there's a reaction force come back where my punch can power by that. So at the same time, the spiral the action reaction force is there. Okay? Take it in, action force down, reaction force, power it. So you are using the force, the incoming force, to spiral down and at the same time it spiral backward. And this is the punch. It is not, again, not this thing. And uh, it's not this tucking. A lot of people are tucking like this. Again, that jam the uh, the, the force and uh, it, it just break your, your upper and lower body if you do this, okay? That is not locking, okay? That is not, not sinking the jing and that is also not uh, leg chung tei hei, uh, uh, jing come up from the ground, no. That is actually locking and force, force the muscle up, push the body up, okay? It is not playing with the uh, force flow. So the force flow is this. You don't have to move a lot. So again, this is not other art where you say, oh, I have a tan here, I have to lock everything and then punch this way. Or, you know, you have punch this way. Lock, 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 and then use the solar power. Okay? This is different stuff. So in shooting power, we don't move a lot. We move that. And uh, if I don't have this, uh, this you will not see me doing that. You might be thinking, I'm just standing still there. Okay? I'm standing still there. And 
One of the things that I can use this part, this leg, to spiral down and spiral up. I can use this leg to spiral and spiral up. That depends on my intention, my yi, which one I want to use, or what is the condition, uh, what happened to the momentum, and which way I can use. I can switch. Okay? So that is called leg tong bei hai, from the ground up. Okay? Not from this thing, trucking, not from clamping. Those stuck. Those do not follow the rule of physics and the human body nature. Okay. So, the engine which is support this type of engine, this type of uh, 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 operations, which is I call the snake engine because it is a uh, ermine based type of engine. If you don't like the snake or don't like ermine, call it today's words. It's called a distributive uh, control system. You have seven bolts. You have the distributive control. It's not jamming up with one bowl, one, uh, one big uh, center computer and try to, to force the hand up. No. It's a distributive car. Okay? So that's why because it's distributive, it can be so close in the in Qi Sao. Okay? It can be played in the dummy. It, if you lock this or you have this uh, structure, then you have to move your body and you have to uh, brute force a lot of things. For this, no, you're just losing out everything. Whatever I, uh, I, I share with you, uh, uh, prayer to this uh, YouTube on the IECAM OS9, all I apply. And it's just very, very lightly, smooth, dynamic. Okay? That is how the uh, weaker and uh, uh, female small frame people have the chance. Without this structure, this is to see who is a bigger muscle, who can hold both strong. That is physical, and this is forceful play. Okay, this is forceful play. So it's like in Yikang lineage, there is play, the whole body play. It is not locked like that. No, it is this. But if I do it this way, you don't see what I'm doing. But with this, you know what it is. And so the snake engine or the distributive is like you have seven computers in your body, seven volts. It adjusts, adapts, it has its own intelligence. Okay? And that's what about force flow. So it is this simple, it's no need to guess. And it, it fit the human nature and the law of physics. Okay? So this is what I have to share with you today. And uh, this is OS9, as what I say. This is a new platform. Every Wing Chun has still been top set. It's like you have already have your iPad and iPhone. You want to upgrade, download it. Buy the, the disc. 